What's the best path to your weight gain? What's the most rewarding path? To your sloth. Um, Twix cookie dough is our first example. This is on our diabetic coma edition because, you know, it's all candy today. Here we go. Twix cookie dough. I'm excited about this one. Let's try it. Mm. I mean, I don't know. I'm getting a strong cookie dough vibe out of this. One thing I like to do is try the topping of it. It's not cookie dough. I don't think. It's like a cream, I would say a cream type of thing. Uh, we grade these on the old school grading system, A to F. I mean, it's okay. It tastes like a Twix, mainly. It's a little bit less chewy than the Twix with caramel. Uh, but I'm not in love with it. I'm not a huge Twix guy as it is. I give that one a C. C, doing some record keeping here for the chips, uh, for the Twix cookie dough. Kit Kat. Again, not my favorite candy bar out there, but Kit Kat is, you know, solid. It's okay. It's good in ice cream. I'm a big ice cream guy with the Kit Kat. Will we go to... Um, the place where you can put the, you know, the, you can build your own Sunday type of place. Kit Kat crumbles, pretty good on them. These are called duos, and they've got the the double sided nature. They've got the strawberry on one side. They got the chocolate on the other side. Oh, I'm getting a very very strong fake strawberry vibe, which I like. Let me try these. These are Kit Kat duos. Again, do I love that? I got to be honest with you. The, I, this is what I do here. I'm honest with you. The answer is not really. It's not great. Again, what I, it would be better in ice cream. The thing with Twix is they're a little dry to me. They're a little, excuse me, Kit Kats. They're a little dry. Twixes are not dry, but Kit Kats a little dry. I'm going to give that one a C minus. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Okay, now we get into the Reese's section of the show. Starting off with Reese's Big Cup with Reese's Puffs. Now, Reese's has been doing this a lot lately, where they'll just take their normal product and jam other things inside of it. And, you know, it's so it's just a cynical tactic that I fall for every single time and adore. Just adore it. Um, let me see if I can get a good breakage here. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of peanut butter inside here. Let's see where I'm going to find a puff. Mmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gosh, Reese's is so good. Okay, this tastes exactly like a normal. I have so much chocolate on my desk right now. I know I'm going to get it on myself. Um, tastes like a normal big cup, which is, to me is a, is a very solid product. This adds in kind of like a, almost like a, the texture of like a Rice Krispies being inside. You know, you get that kind of cereal crunch in the middle of it. It's a solid product. I'm going to give that a B plus. A B plus for the Reese's Puffs, Reese's Big Cup thing I just had. Now... We've got Reese's Outrageous. Now this has Reese's product, uh, the peanut butter inside, and then they put Reese's pieces around the outside. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that my favorite candy pretty much in the entire world is a Reese's Pieces. Such a stupid shell. Hmm. Oh yeah. I got caramel in it too. Oh yeah. No chocolate, peanut butter, caramel, and Reese's Pieces candy. That's a good bar. Would I recommend you getting that bar? I would recommend you getting that bar. Anytime you can jam Reese's Pieces in something, it's pretty freaking good. Luckily, for calorie sake, I have Diet Coke here. To wash that down. That's very solid. Uh, that's an A-minus candy bar right there. So A-minus for the Reese's Puffs, uh, for the Reese's Outrageous. I think it was a B plus, I think I said, for the Reese's Puffs. I don't remember. And then the Kit Kat Duo, C minus, Twix Cookie Dough. A disappointing C. I was excited about the Twix. Just go out there and try them all yourself.